climate resilience is defined in many different ways. And I think the easiest thing to do is actually really look at everyday life. If we look at the weather forecast and we look at the news, we see so many occasions when people are affected by extreme weather. What we're really trying to do is quantify how likely it is people will be affected and what the consequences are. And then resilience is about managing the risks and exploiting the opportunities. So ultimately, we want to avoid the bad aspects of climate variability and change and understand and build on the good aspects. So climate resilience in a nutshell really depends on what exact question you're looking to address. So in terms of UK climate resilience, we might be interested in the impact in the future generations of the climate changes uh, that we know are going to happen. And so what we might be interested in in terms of resilience is knowing what those impacts are going to be and what adaptation we have to take to be the able either to minimise those risks to below acceptable thresholds or um, try and reduce them entirely? The way I think about it is um, thinking about different types of capacity. So thinking about a sort of absorptive capacity, so how much can a system absorb shocks and stresses? Um, then also what is the capacity of the system to adapt and change? But then, sort of importantly, how, how much can the system reflect and learn and sort of transform into the future? So climate resilience for me um, is making society, um, well, enabling society to, to basically withstand um, future climate change. Um, and the resilience bit is all about, um, you know, we, we have in the impacts of climate change, but basically um, being able to bounce back afterwards um, so making it robust to basically the, the extreme events we might see in the future.